Hello, my name is Marianne and welcome to Once a Duckling, where I hope to encourage you to get crafty and create some fun and beautiful items for your home. And this week I'm updating this pantry jar for my summer kitchen by adding a fun design to the lid. As always, start off with giving it a good clean to get rid of any grease or dust. Next I'm using my trusted Dixie Belle Slick Stick Primer to prime the top of the lid and the sides. And this primer really helps you to allow to paint high gloss surfaces such as glass, veneer, plastic, ceramics, metal. Leave this to dry before giving the lid two coats of acrylic white paint. I'm using Apple Barrel by Plaid and all in all I used two coats of this making sure to leave the first coat to dry before adding the next one. It doesn't have to be perfect but basically you're looking to create a nice bright background for the next step which is going to be using a serviette to Mod Podge to the lid. So I picked up these cute daisy serviettes by Gisela Graham in our local garden centre and they do some very similar ones online. Now when mod podging you only use the top layer of the serviette, so separate the layers, only use the top one and get rid of the layers you don't need. Use a generous layer of mod podge to apply to the top of the lid. I'm trying to avoid getting any Mod Podge on the sides, so I find using a flat brush works best. Once you're completely happy with the coverage, you carefully place the serviette on the Mod Podge area and gently brush out any creases with your hand. I find working from the centre to the sides works best for this. Now I didn't have a pair of scissors to hand and I couldn't find any so I'm working with the whole serviette but you can cut it to size and just use a smaller area if you find this easier. And it must have been a day for not finding things because I couldn't find any cling film either so I'm using the plastic that the serviette came in just as a barrier to stroke out any creases. Because the serviettes get very very delicate once it's wet this really helps as a barrier but still be careful. And at the moment we've just got a serviette stuck to a lid so I'm using a sanding block of 120 grit um, and 80 grit to carefully hit those edges and get rid of any of the excess paper. Now don't go in too heavy handed because obviously you don't want to damage that paint but take it gentle and just follow the whole pattern all the way around just to get rid of that excess paper until you've got the lid. To protect your design, give it another coat of Mod Podge and leave it to dry. This won't make it waterproof, but it will make it wipeable. Now it already looks absolutely fine with the sides white, but I'm using some gold acrylic paint to add a bit more shimmer. I'm using a flat brush and all in all, it took two coats to get rid of any of the white showing through. And as with the white acrylic paint, I made sure that the first layer was completely dry before moving on to the next one. Have a look to see what works for you and just keep going over those steps until you're happy with the coverage. And one of the things that I really like about this project is that you can completely mix it up for different seasons, whether it's autumn, Christmas, just have a look to see what you can find. Um, the last step is adding a small handle. I found this small drawer handle in one of our local shops and I'm using some E6000 glue to attach it. E6000 is a lot stronger than hot glue but it does take a bit longer to set as well. It's not instant, you do need to leave it. So I'm placing it in the middle and then walking away just leaving it to set overnight. Finally fill it up with some biscuits, see how long they last in your house, not very long in ours and enjoy it as part of your display. I hope you love this project. For further inspiration, come and find me at onceaduckling.com.